Multiweight champion Naoya Inoue is an absolute monster in the ring, with relentless endurance, blazing fast hands, and a knockout ratio that would be the envy of most heavyweights. Inoue is one of the most dominant champions in modern boxing. So today, we're going to look at the training that turned Inoue into a monster, starting with the bread and butter staples, and then moving on to the advanced, cutting edge drills unique to a Hashi gym. No matter how advanced a fighter gets, they should never neglect to train the basics. Here, Inoue practices slipping a jab to return a cross. Since the jab is the foundation upon which most combinations are built, it's of course in Inoue's best interest to punish opponents when they throw it. This is known as taking a punch away from an opponent, and it's a highly valuable concept, even if you don't land a knockout punch with the counter itself. Another great thing about this particular counter is that the opponent will often start to follow up with the cross just as Inoue is connecting. See here how the opponent turns himself into Inoue's punch as he attempts his cross, greatly enhancing the force of Inoue's blow. In this next drill, Inoue practices sliding back just a few inches, dropping down to sink his weight into a hard lead hook. The idea is to move just enough out of the way to drive an opponent into your punch. This concept has become known as a check hook, and while there are a lot of ways to do it, Inoue's is so effective because of his restraint. He takes the tightest angle possible, just barely moving out of the way of an opponent's punch, or sometimes even allowing it to connect. Up next is one of Inoue's signature combinations, a jab to the head followed by a body cross. This is an insanely dangerous combination, as it positions Inoue's head within easy reach of an opponent's counter hook. But Inoue does enough preparation with his jab to ensure that an opponent is too busy defending potential headshots to worry about retaliating. Inoue will often step deep inside as he throws to help align his cross with an opponent's liver. Which brings us to the next drill. Inoue loves to slip and step inside to target an opponent's liver with the lead body hook. By stepping in to broaden his stance and turning as he slips, Inoue not only creates space for his hook, he also loads the majority of his weight onto his left foot, so that he can then throw all of his weight to the right as he turns to hook. The punch shield is a perfect tool for this drill, as Inoue could put as much power into his shots as if he were using a heavy bag, but he can also still practice footwork as he moves with his trainer. Inoue's gym seems big on practicing concepts as much as specific sequences. Since the concept is to end exchanges with liver blows, Inoue practices a variety of ways to make this happen, from jabbing, to weaving and countering, to closing the distance with combinations. Note how most of these tactics first raise the opponent's guard. All Inoue needs is for an opponent to lift his elbow just a few inches, and he could find a path to his target. It's been said many times that fighting is a game of inches, so it's no surprise that one of Inoue's best attributes is his distance management. Inoue builds superb footwork directly into every exchange. In this drill, Inoue practices moving laterally with each punch. He'll even do the same every few punches on the heavy bag. While moving a few inches offline may not seem like much of an adjustment, it's been the deciding factor in many of Inoue's fights. In this clip, Inoue is intent on a knockout. Him and his opponent are both exhausted, brawling with sloppy form near the end of a fight. But even in these circumstances, Inoue's lateral movement saves him from multiple punches and allows him to attack from new advantageous angles. Even when he's abandoned all other forms of defense, Inoue still keeps his footwork. Alright, time to move on to more advanced tactics. In this clip, Inoue's coach demonstrates how to use one punch to deflect another punch. This is somewhat similar to a concept seen in many karate styles, where every strike can be a block, and every block can be a strike. 
If you've trained yourself, you've most likely experienced one of your punches running into an opponent's punch, and it may have thrown one or both of you off balance. Inoue's coach has turned this into a technique in and of itself, counting on Inoue's lead hook to alter the course of the opponent's cross and stifle any return fire, after which Inoue can drive them into his uppercut. And the astounding thing is that this is actually the worst case scenario. More often than not, Inoue's pull and slip is enough to ride back an opponent's right so that he can cross his lead hand over their rear. This hooking motion is akin to Thomas Hearn's chopping right, but performed off of the lead hand. It's a great tool to use against an opponent's jab in an open stance, when you and your competitor both have an opposite foot forward. But Inoue can use it in a close stance against crosses rather than jabs, which of course is far riskier. But in case you haven't noticed, Inoue is perfectly fine with risks. Now let's look at the last few drills, which all follow the same advanced concept. While many fighters learn grappling and guard manipulation tricks through trial and error while sparring, Inoue has it built right into his training. Notice here how Inoue practices keeping his lead hand on top of his partner's pads, simulating framing against their head off of an extended jab. The idea of this tactic is to stop an opponent from returning to their upright posture, as they're far more vulnerable to uppercuts while crouching. And here, Inoue practices bracing his forearm against an opponent at close range before throwing a hard shot. By bumping an opponent, Inoue can knock them off balance and clear away their guard, then immediately throw to take advantage of their brief moment of vulnerability. Notice in this knockout how Inoue's opponent's guard is knocked aside, allowing a clear path for his hook. Leave suggestions for which fighters you would like to see covered next. And stay tuned for more fight breakdowns. You can check out my books on power, footwork, and defense linked in the description. For The Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.